located at the heart of the one municipality and bounded to the left by Limairi Vori and to the right by Yijihi Yempong is a beautiful and iconic one house palace. This building is a worldwide decent thing. The whole world knows about it. People do come here to see the building take and go away. Once it is a monument and we are proud of it, we the royals of Wa, we are very proud of it. This monument or architecture, you can see it anywhere. It was constructed using sun bright mud bricks. Unlike other ancient buildings, it has a wide shaped wooden columns to support the flat roofs of a boost pole framework covered with mud. Its architectural style is a combination of forms and influences from the Morris architecture in South Sudan. As part of the Ghanaman series, I took a tour of the palace regarded as one of the finest and last remains of ancient architectural buildings who needs to be preserved. Nasali Ujongara hails from the Yijila Gate and currently occupies the Duwe skin. He told me how the idea of the building of the palace was mooted. This was initiated by Isaac Dabila of Wali Mayuri, who is an imam or who was an imam. After constructing the central mosque by architecture from Bona, Yahya Bundana was the sole financier of the central mosque. So after that, Isaka saw it in his wisdom, brought them here, the replica of the central mosque, and then what they had at Bona. So it was the same architecture he brought here. So he started it with Napelipu, Kami Inu, it was at Bangmarayiri where the bricks were laid, these local bricks. And here, wall was red clay. That is why they call here Ijie, up to Bangmarayiri, where a large inside semi-story building is situated. That was where they manufactured the bricks from, they mold the bricks from. So carrying them there to this place, you know, it was Limanyiri, Tagadayiri, plus the Wala Royals. They were bringing in their bricks and the palace was constructed by them. Before the construction of the palace, there was no central or permanent palace for the Wana. Each of them were staying at their respective palaces constructed for their gates. Inside the Wana's palace is a sitting room who serves as a court. Here, the Wana sits on either the lion's or the antelope skin. Any other person coming in here including the imams who serves as the spiritual godfathers either has to sit on a cow or a sheep skin. This is the antelope skin and these two are the lion skin. And this is one. This one you see that it's more than 150 years here. So as well as this. They are very very old. So why is the one that's sitting on the antelope or the lion skin? It is, it is our symbol of authority. Because he is the overlord of all chiefs here. You're live on Joy News Desk with me, Daniel Daze. Coming up in business, the Institute for Statistical, Social and Economic Research, ISA, is pushing for expenditure tracking measures to help check budget overruns. Daryl Kwao is standing by with the latest.